right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday. We got maintenance to do. We got to change the oil there. Yeah, we got to change oil. Got your water balloon? Yes, big one. A big one? Yeah. Mm. Beating the heat, huh? Yep. All right, so the, the plan for today is we hit our 5,000 mark on a rebuild. So we're going to drain the oil, change the oil, change the filter. Then we're going to uh, change the oil filter, fuel filters, drain the oil, change it. Also, I got to go to Lubbock tomorrow. We're going to get new tires, new drive tires. So we're going to pull all these tires off and leave it on jack stands that way it's ready to go when i get back one thing we did do before it went in the shop i bought uh eight good used rims for this thing because these rims are starting to get bad on the edge and they wouldn't hold a bead very good on some of them so one of these and i believe it's this set back here no it's this one right here this is a two of the newer rims right here we're going to keep them and try to polish this one up and we got it outside and inside right there then we have three three insides and three outsides right there that are good so we got to clean those up polish those and get those ready ready to mount the new tires on also i want to do a brake job while i have everything off i got four sets of uh four sets of uh brakes right out here in the parts room to put on i don't know where that came from that's old or something on the back of that what does? Look. mud flat So, it's like little 806 is having a good time with his uh, water balloons. So, we'll clean the windows up. Just get ready to go. Like I said, got to go to Lubbock tomorrow. I got to do a drug screen. Of course, seems like I'm the only one that always gets popped for the random drug screens around here. I don't know how that happens, but so we got to do that. And then we're going to pick up our tires. And you see this exhaust right here it's starting to slide down a little bit. So I think this clamp's a little loose. So we're going to, I need to adjust that stack uh, back just a little bit anyway. I think that's why it worked, was working its way around. So we're going to try to rotate that a little bit and put a jack under here, squeeze it back together and tighten that clamp up, get that fixed. And while I'm thinking about it, I guess I, that's about all we got to do so it's gonna be a little quick video today it ain't gonna be nothing i'll probably time lapse through a lot of the time lapse through a lot of the footage today of what we're doing so i ain't gonna get technical on anything maybe talk about the brakes just a little bit this is what what we're getting done here it was 102 yesterday first day of fall so the heat's still here it's not bad today it's in the 80s Thank goodness, it's in the 80s, but we got the port of cool going. We got all the doors open. It's pretty comfortable. Let's get to work. So it seems like every time I change my oil, our drum is empty. So I got to swap out the drum every time. I don't know how that happens that way either, but it does.
right here is your normal drain on the cat motor. That's where you normally drain your your engine oil. But y'all seen me take that plug out right up here. There's a valley in the front of that oil pan, and it holds a little bit of oil that don't get to come on back and drain out down here. Now, I don't drain that one every time. I usually do it about every third oil change. But this being the first oil change, I went ahead and pulled it out. I did find a little piece of metal in there. Not very big. It's probably just part of that uh, break in break in stuff but uh we're about to put this plug back in i have a quick drain somewhere and i cannot find it i'm looking all over for it. i got a daggum mess in my toolbox over there and just never have time to straighten anything up around this place hopefully hopefully i can get it straightened up before long so we're gonna put our plug back in here uh take our we got a fuel filter right here fuel filter here we're going to change and then the oil filters on the other side we're going to change it out and Fill her back up of oil and she should be good to go. First oil change. Now, I thought I hit record, but I didn't. But I like to go ahead and pre fill my oil filters. Uh, some people agree with that, some people don't. But uh, at least I like to try to get them three quarters full. Seems, seems to me that that is a smart thing to do. Now, I know you really don't have to, and if you don't, you want to do a little more research or a little, get a little more knowledge on it, go visit the ADA, A channel. He's a cat mechanic, got a heck of a channel, and he talks about pre filling these filters on uh, like C15s and A service and whatnot. So, uh, and he has a good theory of why you don't have to, and it makes a lot of sense, but I just feel more comfortable to go ahead and do it. So. We got this filter pre-filled. Got the nozzle up there in the fill spot for the engine. So we're going to thread this baby on and top off the engine, then we'll get our fuel filters. Put a little oil around my fuel. So if I can, I'd like to uh, put a little bit of fuel conditioner, at least one of the filters, and if I just do one of the filters, I like to use the water filter, uh, secondary filter here, because it's the furthest back in line. Um, all I can find here we had laying around right now is this power source, the power service 911, but it's still got lubricator in it and all that, it's good to use, so it'd be fine, it'd be alright to use it. But if I can, I like to use the white bottle of the power service, or some uh, the Lucas upper cylinder fuel injector cleaner, whatever. It's really good too, those are my two favorites. You always want to make sure you're properly disposing of your your oil and your filters. So that's what we're getting done right here. Alright, so I got plants loosened up here. Top and bottom. We're gonna to try to take up this little gap from right here to here. And once we got it there, we're gonna to try to rotate. This is a 
one piece top stack. So in other words, it splits right here and it goes all the way up. There's not a center section in it. So uh, I'm gonna try to rotate this thing. We're gonna try to rotate it this way, just maybe about a half inch, kind of even up with the other one. But we're gonna get it up first in the spot where it's supposed to be at. So let's try to jack on it here and see if we can get it to go up. Oh yeah. There she went right there. She went right into place. So now we get something to mark it with and we'll rotate it just tie a little up, bit. Tie it up, tie it up. Sort of. So I made me a little mark right here. Let's see if we can get it to go. Need this top mark to go about a quarter inch that way. So I found a problem on the top angle here. Uh, put the strap on here and I was going to pull that thing around this way. And when I went to pulling on it, it was sliding right here on these brackets, top and the bottom. So they were loose, a little bit loose. So I tighten them up. They should be in good shape now. All we got to do is tighten our brackets up here and there. And Start on the tires. Start on the tires. Uh, one thing I forgot to do the other day, if y'all remember, uh, when we had our tire steering line rupture, I just kind of ran in on the outside of the keeper there. I was in a hurry, I was in line with the truck wash, everything got going, so I'm gonna, I need to go ahead and reroute that right now and get it. In this right spot, so that's what we're going to do right quick before we start on our tires. All right, back in there the way she's supposed to be. Let's go yank off these tires. Got our wheel ends almost tore down here. We need a wheel seal on this one, she's leaking. Also, that one's nice and clean. Not so nice and clean. Here it look pretty good. But this one, two front axles are, I don't know if this one's just dirty from I can't remember if I replaced that wheel seal very long ago or what, but it's, it looks damp too. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it out. Well, we got everything apart and doing the brakes and everything. The back is all right. So these brakes have been on here for about three years. I changed them out right before, uh, right after I started driving this truck. And here, they are ready. Not quite down to the rear, uh, to the wear mark yet, but they're getting glazed over, and they're starting to uh, starting to heat crack. Get some heat crack on them. You see it right here. But I knew they were starting to do that. They started squealing, and that's what they did the last time a few years ago when I had to change them out. They started squealing like that. So look at this one. This whole end of that shoe's almost gone both ends that whole whole play it's about to come up come loose
drums didn't feel too bad. <coughs> These are those lightweight drums. They do have some heat cracks on them, but there's not much of a lip. So I think I'm gonna try to probably try to run these one more round. Usually what I do is uh, get, get uh, two sets of brakes to one set of drums. So that's what we're gonna try to do. What we're gonna try to do right there with that. So I'm gonna show y'all how to take these off right quick. There's, I'm sure I'll take one of these off now and get the rest of them off. And then we gotta finish uh, dismounting those tires. And that'll be about it for today. I would love to get this thing outside like this right here so I can pressure wash all up and in here real good from when this truck used to have real bad oil leaks. It's still pretty bad under there. Man, I could get to a good. So what I think I'm gonna do before I do them whistles up there, I'm just gonna put two, a rim on here and a rim on over there. And I'm gonna leave this axle chained up like I got it right now. Leave it chained up. And I'm gonna roll it out outside there and pressure wash it real good and then we'll just push it push it back inside here and put everything back together i think that would be i think that would be the way to do it you'd be able to get it all clean at the same time all fresh looking um probably gonna get a new set of shocks for it too i noticed these back here look like they're they might be bleeding a little bit truck set man you know y'all know this truck set for seven eight months this last year or so i mean a lot of this stuff is probably fixing to start appearing on me from sitting a lot of the stuff that can leak and dry rot and whatnot so that's what that's what we're going to work on right now and i might even take these uh bust these uh axles out too and go ahead and retort all my wheel ends and make sure they're all in good shape i'd like to go back in here and uh do do new uh new races and bearings and all that too but we might just we might we need to get through cotton season first before i start really getting into nitty-gritty i know i gotta i rebushed this side already i put new bushings over here but i want to put this bracket right here uh i want to get four new of those brackets and rebush them again so i can get everything aligned and probably put new U-bolts and all that. That way I can get an alignment. And tomorrow I'm buying just some double coin drive tires. They're a cheaper drive tire. That'll get me through. And then when we get about time to need new drive tires, I'm gonna redo all that. And we're gonna put some Michelins. Go back with the Michelins on them. So I'll show you how to take this brake off right quick. Super easy. If you got the tool, got your old brake tool here. It's got this little deer. You just go back here. See the rear spring. Put that hook in your spring. Pry down. Might not be able to do it one handed very easy, but what you do is just pry down and you rotate it out. Like I said, it's hard to do one one handed. Let's see if I can prop you all up. There you go. Got propped up there. Now, rotate it up. Rotate it out. Once you got those two springs loose, grab the shoe right here, hold it over, roll it up. There is all you gotta do to get your shoes on. I just wanna check your ass cam, make sure you ain't got no slack. Got a little bit of slack. That's probably just grease. There ain't much. Ain't much there. Go ahead and it's always good to grease them where you don't have no pressure on it too. You can grease them up and get, get them things loaded up with grease. So we'll do that. Get the rest of these off. Get our tires over there dismounted. That will be about it for today. Get a deal.
Well, guys, it's the last morning. Let's see. It's the last morning. So, it's the next day. Monday, 25th September. Made it to Lubbock. Did our whiz quiz. Or urinalysis, piss test, whatever you want to call it. I guess we did good. Nothing started smoking. The bottom didn't burn out of the cup, so I guess we're all right. That mark right here, huh? Got our tires picked up. Eight brand new drives. Good old budget friendly double coins. But it'll work. So tomorrow, the plan is come down here and mount these things up. Change out them two wheel seals, get her cleaned up a little bit. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna go to Amarillo, load up, come back here. I got a funeral to attend. My great aunt had passed away, so. My great aunt had passed away, so we gotta go to that funeral. Got, got, yeah, he did. He said, hey, guys. Hi. Right, then we're headed back to East Texas, right? East yeah. Texas? Huh? Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Go to school? Hey, boss. Yeah, he's going to go to school. And we're going to go back to East Texas. We got 20 loads. Uncle Adam and my father-in-law, Juan, they get, they're both in Amarillo loading right now. They should be uh, on their way back, and we're going to triple team it down there in East Texas, try to get them knocked out by next weekend again, like we did last weekend. So, um, on our way to Lubbock today, and then we went to Lubbock first, like I said, then we drove up to Amarillo. To, um, my boy had a root canal done, so, of course, uh, Mama wants to be there with her with her baby bear, her, young, her youngest one, during his root canal, so to make sure he was all right. But man, the cotton is popping around here, y'all. So really, we really didn't need to go to East Texas to do these loads, but uh, kind of hard to pay, turn down, turn them down. The rates are, the rates are great on them. The rates are real good. So kind of hard to turn them down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get those done and try to get back here. It's probably gonna be all hands on deck when we get back to Finished getting that yard dog ready over there. Uh, finished getting the loader put together. And we still gotta do a little work to these to our, to our seed trailers. So that's planned. But appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and 
Appreciate y'all hanging out. Keep the shiny side up. Hammer down. We'll see y'all in the next video.